Hello. Hello. Hi. Guess who's back? It's me. Not Yay. dead. Not Even me though. being not dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back from beyond. <clears throat> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> you guys thought you could get rid of me that easily? Forget about it. Everyone was <laughs> celebrating you were gone. You know, I came back excited. from the dead to spite everybody, mainly Decky, because he was trying to steal my viewers on Twitch the whole time I was gone. A photo, a photo of Aqua in a hospital bed. I lived, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was it Lug Ludwig who did that for the first I, time? Someone did that. Yeah. I lived, yeah. bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Aqua, you had uh, Aqua went on a little trip. A little trip. I, I, I don't went know if you on want a to trip. Tell was, the story about. The, I, I, I will tell the story. Yeah. Yes. So because I was, I was gone. just in tatters, just secondhand when you were like live. <laughs> yeah. I have never story. experienced something so horrible in terms of uh, air travel. <laughs> I've never even heard of anything close to what I went through. Um. And okay, so basically where I was, I had some obligations that involved traveling. Uh, I had some personal stuff going on. And I don't want to get into the personal stuff, but it happened right before we left on this trip for reference. Mm. It's kind of just like uh, an emotionally disturbing occurrence, which exacerbated all of this greatly yeah. for me just to put things in perspective a lot of so stress like, before a big trip that's the <clears throat> right yeah so we had an obligation in europe to go to um so and that was part of why i was gone and then like i was gonna you know fit in a couple streams i was up front about like you know i'm not gonna be around for pretty much the rest of august much but you know that combined with some personal stuff and yada 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 and my you know, microphone broke while I was traveling, a bunch of things like that. Um, I didn't stream at all, but, you know, it's okay. I'm back now, and I'm um, back to the gamer hole. Glad to be back with you guys. Yay. Not dead. But anyway, so in terms of this trip, so some, per some personal stuff happened right before going on this trip, and we almost didn't go just because of that. Um, you know, it was this wasn't like a vacation. It was just like something we had to do. <clears throat> but... um. So, so you're already thing. all fucked up from. I'm already, like, right. We're already all from, fucked from up from like personal then, news, right, family right. news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like, okay, you know, it'll be a good distraction. Let's go. Let's go on Get this on the trip. Plane. Yeah. Um. So we we arrive at the airport. Um. And you know, uh, this is United Airlines. Well, oh. maybe I shouldn't say with the airline. Oh, we're fine. We're, we're calling them out. I don't know. I'm going to call, call them under the Fuck bus. United. You can tell there's a grudge. Well, you know, they already, in my opinion, were not my favorite airline. And I'm pretty sure they're the ones who were like forcibly removing people from the plane a couple of years ago. I think that was them. Yeah. Yeah, it was. They've got yeah, some I'm bad pretty rep. Sure. Yeah. They don't have a great reputation, but I they really great. lived up to United. this poor reputation. Uh, so anyway, okay, we get to the airport, you know, kind of not in the best of spirits, but, you know, it's fine. We get there, planes delayed two hours due to a, uh, uh, an error or, or the weather radar being broken on our plane. Okay. That's so fine, you know, two hour yeah. delay, you know, it's inconvenient, but it happens, you know, not the end of the world. We hung out in the airport. Eventually, food? you know, got on the plane around when they said the, the delay would be done, two hours. Got on the flight. Everything's fine. We take off. Great. You know? Mm -hmm. um, what I did not anticipate was the fact that two and a half hours into the trip, into the trip, and about literally over halfway over the Atlantic Ocean, yep. uh, the pilot comes on the intercom just out of nowhere and just goes... Hey, so I've got some bad news. <laughs> that's what he oh started with, God, which God. is like that's not that's not an airplane. On a play. What the it, fuck? It wasn't even like it wasn't even the stewardess or something. It was the goddamn pilot that came on. I've got bad news. <laughs> like yeah. that Who alone was. That? I know. 
how? It's people like that, are, it's so like, many people freaked out with flying. I would lose my mind. Like, I hate like flying. That, it's like that doctor from Arrested Development. It's yeah, like, exactly. We, we lost him. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Yeah, it was exactly like that. Him. We don't know where he went. <laughs> yeah. It was exactly like that. But he actually did have some pretty bad news. He, We're all going to die one day. Like, but for now, so, there's some bad news. Yeah, right. So he's like, I've got some bad news. Uh, remember that, you know, problem with the weather radar that, that you know, delayed the flight initially? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's like, that broke again. Um, mm. And, you know, to be honest, I'm not too interested in flying this plane at night when I can't see in August when thunderstorms are pretty common um, with no weather radar. Like... <laughs> I, I like how he it's says that. Safe. Did he? Did he actually word it though? I don't feel like I don't like oh, yeah. it. No, that's exactly what he <laughs> said. Like almost verbatim. He's like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like terribly interested in doing that. That's so, what you um, can tell when it's serious. When he's yeah. like, just he's just he talking goes, to you. He goes. <laughs> I was trying to follow another plane, but I lost him. So you know, we're just gonna like turn around. We have to go back, and you know, I, we might land in Boston. And we might, and we might not. Just I'll let you know. So we literally are halfway over the ocean, and we turn around and go home. And by this time, we land. I'm like, everyone on the plane is like, "What the fuck?" And like, firstly, that's kind of scary. He's like, "I'm gonna turn around, and we're gonna hope that no storms moved in on our <laughs> same route back." And we're all like, well, fuck, this is terrifying and also extraordinarily inconvenient. Also, yeah. the fact he says, I'm going to, I was following a plane. Yeah. That, that, Why, that, that yeah. itself seems terrifying as shit. That's, 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 like, yeah. that's the move when you're, rather, when, if your weather radar is out, you follow someone else's flight plan the same way. Yeah, exactly. no, it makes sense, but like, but still, why, why would a pilot like, say that? so fucking janky and yeah. shady yeah, for Dude, like a I, commercial flight. Yeah. Like, <laughs> If, if, I, I can't believe you even believe it broke. All right, so anyway, we land back. We get back so to the airport. So you were in the air for everyone's, like five hours, Everyone's super, yeah, for no, and went like a nowhere. a five-hour flight that went nowhere. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. And you landed so at the we same went, airport, right? You didn't have to yes, go to Boston. We, we okay. did end up not, if we had landed in Boston, I would have been like, I think there would have been a revolt. I would have been at, that yeah. would have added a whole new level of fun. Uh, yeah. that, <laughs> Just being stranded in another city. Uh, no, that fortunately didn't happen. We went to our original de destination. Nice. But here's the thing. We get off the plane. Everybody's pissed off, you know, just from this. We get off the plane, and everyone goes to the desk and is like, can we get our bags back? And they say, no, you don't get your bags. Don't worry, though. We'll transfer them to the next plane, which we have for you guys at uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. And everyone's like, wait, what the fuck? Like, we need our bags. Like, we need, like, clothes and toothbrushes and things. Like, some of us are, like, traveling right now. Like, you right. know, like... That's not where they actually live. They're not... They don't <clears throat> live in that airport. Yeah, so exactly. Oh. And then they're yeah. like, well, we could put you up in a hotel for a discount rate. Like, all this... They were, like, just mm -hmm. trying, like, case by ca case to, like, keep everybody happy. Everyone's screaming. Like, mm -hmm. so upset. <clears throat> so, you know, whatever. We don't get our bags back. You know, not the end of the world. Um, and it, this is because it's like 1130 at night at this point. They didn't have anybody to remove the bags from the plane. All yeah. the like bag dudes went home and then that, they wouldn't say that's the reason why, but I'm pretty sure that's why. Yeah. They, um, there's, Cause they weren't planning on any flight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, people are like, why can't we have our bags? They're just like, you just can't. <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> you just can't have them. Like, okay, whatever. So we are like, okay, well, I guess we'll try again tomorrow, right? Yeah. We almost were like, "Fuck this!" Like, le like tomorrow we'll just go get I our would bags have been off. Like, the Fuck this! Yeah, yeah. The like slightest tomorrow we'll just retrieve our bags. We'll have them mail them to us. You know, whatever. The slightest um, inconvenience would send me home. So I'm I'm so, so impressed that that you you kept pushing. We 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 had a long talk about it, considering, and and we arrived at the conclusion that the best thing to do, well, like that night we were pretty sure we weren't going. But yeah. then the next morning, we were like, you know, it's a new day. It would be a nice distraction. Let's go. Yeah. So we're like, I'm like, okay, great. Let's let's try it again. We arrive at the airport for our second attempt, our next okay. flight. Number two. And uh, we get there, and um, 
right, you know, uh, I don't know, just air airport traffic or something. It was delayed about two hours. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, like just the fact that it was delayed after being turned around over the ocean the next time, <laughs> like they, they didn't give us some sort of like priority to leave the fucking airport was absurd to me. Like the, the first two, the two hour delay, like, you know, it's annoying the second time around, like more annoying, but like, whatever, we're here. We'll just wait. Fine. So when that two hour delay comes up, all of a sudden the heavens just, open up and and we're about to get on the plane no sorry we do get on the plane we get on the plane everyone's and then, on and yep. then all of a sudden the heavens just open it's thunderstorming lightning everything just downpouring <laughs> yep. all of the, the weather flights, radar didn't see that one coming <clears throat> all of the flights in the airport are shut down delay, we're delay, sitting delay. on the tarmac yeah. just waiting for it to pass eventually um, they're like, okay, flights are moving again. This is after about an hour of waiting for the thunderstorms to, to subside. You're on the plane for the hour, correct? You're still on, on the, the plane, plane for the yeah, hour. Okay. Yes, <sighs> that's fine. Whatever. At least we're on the plane, mm -hmm. Just sitting, sitting at the gate. Um, so the weather subsides. They're like, okay, we're in line to take off. But but since the entire airport was shut down. There is an immensely long queue for all these planes to leave. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get in line and see what happens. We're like, they're like, I don't know. It could be 15 minutes. It could be like, you know, we don't know how long it's going to be. And not, we're just like, well, fuck, I guess we'll just hope for the best. Are they handing out free food at this time or what? Like, what, no, what's no food? Okay. Nothing. That's what I was wondering. Nothing. Okay. They didn't give a nothing. shit. They don't give you is it anything. Is like sweltering in there? Because they can't run the they can't uh, run the AC unless the yeah, engines are running. Yeah, when you board the plane, it was uncomfortable. Yeah. It was it wasn't like horrible, but I I think they like I don't know I don't definitely remember it being though. sweltering, okay. but it was definitely okay. uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> um. No food. No nothing. We're sitting there for like an hour and a half at this point. <laughs> so then we leave the gate. We're all like, yeah. Everybody on the plane started going, cheering because, like, we're going, we're going. Thank and God, and this, it's all—it's all the same people too who got yes. rebooked. We've all really exactly. It's the yeah, same people from bonded. the day before. We've all bonded. Like we're all like we all went. We're it's like band of brothers. Like we'd all been in a war together at this point. <laughs> everybody's making friends because it was same seats too. So everybody's yeah. making friends with everybody around them and like whatever. People were like complaining and like this is unbelievable. Can you believe it? Like a lot of chatter <laughs> like that. Like, I've never seen anything like this. So we, we leave the gate. Everyone's super excited. Yay, you know, we're, we're in queue to take off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. I'm hearing sounds. You keep, keep going. I'm sorry. Okay. I just need to check on what's happening in my house. Okay. So we're sitting, we're sitting there in queue to take off. Right. Another, like, hour and a half goes by. In queue? Just waiting to take off because all the other flights were trying to take off too because the entire airport was shut down due to weather. Right. So uh, people get pissed off. Is there any point. explanation it's, going on during this hour and a half queue time or is it just like every 15 every, minutes? Are they every 30 on minutes or so, the captain or whoever comes on and is like, hey, so we know we're making our way through that queue, uh, uh, just okay. waiting on air traffic control to give us yeah. the AOK -okay to go or like to give us our spot in line. Mm -hmm. We never get a spot in line. Or however it works. And then um, before any real progress is made, someone gets in a fight in the back of the plane. Someone yep. else has a panic attack in the back of the plane. Okay. People are screaming, yelling, shoving, shouting. Police. And, 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 and they're like, okay, listen, we, we can't keep you guys on this plane any longer. Um, it's just not right. We can't do this. Everybody off the plane. When in reality, what the reasoning was, was the crew wanted to leave. They, their hours were done just sitting on the plane. The captain wanted out. The crew wanted out. Fuck that. We don't want to be involved. Yeah. As well. That, that would have to be the most miserable thing. Like you already did your hours or whatever. You've done yeah. this and you haven't even left the ground yet. Exactly. Like, we, we, were on, we were sitting on the, like yeah. the two hour delay and then sitting on the tarmac for another like three hours. Yep. So, so five we're like hours five gone. and a half hours yeah. behind at this yeah. point. And then we get off the plane and they're like, everybody off the plane. We get, we we're like, oh my God, we, we almost left again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and then we lost the ca- the the crew, the captain, everything. And then we're in the airport due to all this traffic that was building up. I, I we we didn't have a crew or a pilot to go on the plane, so like that caused even more delay. And we were there between like all the all the traffic and all these flights being deboarded and grounded and everything. There were an immense amount of people in the airport. Like we were packed in the terminal like goddamn sardines mm-hmm. for another like four hours oh, after shit. getting off the plane. We, they were trying to find us a crew, a captain, all this stuff. Everybody's just pissed off. All I've eaten in hours is a bag of Chex Mix and a bottle of Sprite. Everybody's cranky, upset. Everybody's just sweating and just miserable. My back was killing me because I had this like 40 pound backpack with two computers, all microphones, all this gear and shit because I wanted to stream still while we were gone. My microphone broke, so I never did. <laughs> yeah, no wonder it broke. They were probably yeah. lobbing that bag left and right. No, I was carrying it myself, but Not still. The carry on, but still. Yeah, yeah it was super heavy. I'm just standing there. And 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 we we were bound to the terminal because every 30 minutes they were like updating us. So we wanted to know what was going on. Yeah. We almost left several times. But the clincher is we couldn't leave because of this obligation that we the people that were involved in it. We're, we're also at the airport, so we couldn't leave in front of them. Right. You know what I mean? You had, you yeah, had yeah. people there. They had people there that were like, yeah, the reason why you're leaving. And now they're exactly. like, you the reason can't why we were leave. going. Yeah. Yeah. We couldn't leave in front of them. So we just had mm-hmm. to endure all this. Like, you had to choose whether to be, you know, like the shitty person and walk right out right in front of the people exactly. or, be like, or just stick endure. it out and stay. Yeah. And yeah. We, we stuck it out and stayed. Um, you couldn't and, do the awkward and we text didn't message. take off. And then eventually at like 11.45 p.m. after an, an, another entire day at the airport or sitting on a plane going nowhere, uh, somehow this, this captain like volunteered and like they found a crew and they're like, all right, everybody on the plane, we, we got like clearance to go right fucking now. Everybody on, we're going, let's go. And at this point, I didn't believe them, but <laughs> we got on the we got on the plane and and we I don't did believe go. you when I'm there when yeah. I arrive at my destination. <laughs> so so the flight goes fine, and it was actually okay because it was a flight to Europe. So you know, eventually we we did leave. I just like slept a lot of the time because it was so late. I was so exhausted from two days of traveling to go nowhere. Uh, slept on the plane. The flight went by fine. We arrive there, still really hungry, tired, miserable, and we we get to the um, <laughs> carousel, to get our luggage, and uh, the carousel broke, <laughs> broken carousel. So like one bag was, uh, it was like the same three bags going around like forever, mm-hmm. and we had these things, these like find my bag things, you know, those like air tags. We air got tags, those yeah. before the trip. And they and we looked at it, and they were still showing in New Jersey. And we were like, "Oh, well, shit. Maybe it's just like not updating, updating the signal right. or whatever. Who knows?" So yeah. we wait around an extra fucking hour after the flight, which is the worst fucking thing yeah. for them to <laughs> fix the goddamn carousel. And when they finally do, the bags come out. We see the bags. People grabbing their bags. And then, you know, a bunch of people didn't get their bags, including us. People we knew from this horrible flight experience, they lost our bags. The sa- then lost the our bags. The same people that were on the plane saying, can you believe this? Look, turn to you yeah. and go, can you believe this? <laughs> and like a hand, a hand, like, like, you know, a dozen people never got their bags yeah. and two of them I, were us. I cannot believe that the airline that left you waiting on a, on, out on the, out on the tarmac for... <laughs> I for know. hours yeah. and canceled your flight and turned you around in the middle of the Atlantic and then delayed the new flight. Lost your luggage. <laughs> yeah, I that can't sounds believe weird. it. You lost our luggage, <laughs> and we we did get it uh, the next eventually. Day. But okay, they no, did they bad. did get it out to you. Yeah, but 
That is insane. I mean, the fact that after all that, they lost the luggage was just the icing on the cake. And and having to wait extra long to find that information out due to a broken carousel. Yeah. And then <laughs> having to wait through the entire luggage unloading process to realize your bags aren't there. It's like an extra two hours at the re- at the receiving airport. That, yeah, that, that, I'm never that is, flying. That I'm never hilarious. flying again. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm I'm streaming <laughs> if, forever. If yeah, I have no driving, reason to fly anywhere or do anything on, ever again. We're driving or taking a cruise. That's the yeah. options. <laughs> I you will know? go nowhere other than the gamer hole cruise. <laughs> that That's is, it. That is like the worst airport story. Uh, you know, apart from That's like a catastrophic hilarious. disaster, like where yeah. something where people are gonna die or something. That is that is. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I got the super brief version of that about you like leaving the airport and going back and shit but i didn't know everything else i so, can't so that was a very long story worry. but i had to <laughs> the yeah. people the people were there just by chance we saw them on the flight you know yeah I, and, like, my calculations are correct. We either had to like bitch out in front of them or or just stick with it and we just stuck with it when i, mean, I event- when i flew to florida our flight was delayed and that was enough that I, w- I I looked at Katie. I was like, I think we should go home. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally yeah. delayed. And they were like, you might not make your connecting flight. We might have to rebook your flight. And I was just like, I think I'll just cancel the Christmas vacation with my family. <laughs> I think I'd just go home. So I that just what a f- nightmare. I'd, I'd give up. I'd be like, we no. could have flown around the world twice in the amount of time it took to get there. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of time Aqua had to think of all these scenarios. <laughs> it was unfathomable. It was unbelievable. It's, that's a nightmare. And like when you're in the situation, it's so much worse than like hearing about it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like it was well, really. Flying puts me in a bad mood, even if it goes well. I'm, yeah, I'm just sucks. grumpy. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not a great t- thing. I'm just like, mm. I don't like the airport. <laughs> I hate flying. Exactly. I hate I hate all of it. Like that is awful. And then like also being in the middle of like you know a pandemic, just yeah. being crammed with all these people for two it fucking feels days. Feels so dirty. Yeah, I just, just being felt in this like. Little st- <sighs> I know it's not stale air, but your mind tells you you're, it's like I stale know. air. It just it does it just adds to the tension of the situation. You know yeah. what I mean? And like and- wearing the mask all that time was just like hurting my ears, giving me a headache. Like, ugh. nightmare, rough. <laughs> actual <laughs> nightmare. Nightmare. That, nightmare. That, that nightmare. really is. Uh, um, w- was there any compensation? At all? Yeah, we got um, like a couple hundred bucks off. Okay. Oh, great. Well, a couple yeah, hundred I know bucks that doesn't for make up days. for it, but at least. I mean, I, at least. <laughs> I mean, with the story you told, like I imagine they were just going to be like, we got you there. Or it's fine. I, <laughs> yeah. I assume they were going to be like, you're alive, so why don't you shut up and be happy? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like first world problems, but at the same time, it was like. <laughs> It was pushing the limits of first world problems. At that point. It was like it was like just problems at that point. It was like pretty bad. United Airlines, <laughs> fuck you. You the might get there. Should... <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get you there eventually. No. That maybe. uh, we'll get maybe. you, but maybe, maybe not. not your luggage there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with that pilot saying I have bad news? Well, like, like, I like. Know. He's got to know it's the wrong thing to say. Exactly. Was he just like, I want to fuck with him? He's like, like so, irritated himself. He's like, let me just like, vent some of this anger out on all these The first people. time flyer, like in the back, like <laughs> gripping the, the armrests, like yeah. terrified of flying. And, yeah. and then I have bad news. <laughs> oh, what? What? We're going down, not a boys. nervous flyer at all, and that scared the shit out of me. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> It was not good. Everybody, we're going down (laughs) to land (laughs) (laughs) at the airport. I mean, to be fair, I mean, having to turn around halfway over the ocean, that's pretty bad news. (laughs) Yeah, that is not like, you know, we're all going to die bad news, but it was was pretty bad. (laughs) Yeah. When you told me that story, I was with my parents and my dad was a he was an air traffic controller for 50 years. So his yeah. life, his life is like airplanes and air traffic. Yeah. And so he is always up to date on like 
every doing with air traffic at the moment. And as soon as I told him, he immediately, I watched him just pull up these Facebook communities of like, of all these little like uh, current and former and past Mm -hmm. air traffic controllers. And they're like, Hey, what's the news in the Northeast with all the plane groundings? (laughs) They're like, Oh, there's some big weather moving through. I was like, yeah. What is this network of old ass men who are like <laughs> just like tracking like weather and, and They're plane all like landings. wearing pilot hats and like yeah. just at home? <laughs> it was yeah. uh it was very nice to see him so excited about Aqua being totally fine. Yeah, listen, if he like, got a weather thrill pattern, out of it, that's mm. fine. He got such a thrill out of it. He's like, Did, oh, uh, I know. Speaking of planes, you guys see that American Airlines bought like 22 of the Boom supersonic airplanes or whatever? We're doing that, There's huh? like a, it's like, yeah, a new company that's making supersonic airplanes. And like, yeah, apparently American Airlines bought like 20, 20 Someone's going or Concord. Huh. Yeah, they're trying to bring it back. I'm excited, though. I was like, hell yeah. God knows yeah. I'm never going to fly I, on when that. When I was because... a kid, I remember the Concord was a thing. I never went on it, but yeah. I always wanted to. You yeah, know? yeah, well, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, I like pumped. their little like angled like noses so that they could see when they were like landing and it would like angle down as they mm-hmm. that was cool. Yeah. They didn't make financial like sense. Space shuttle. Yeah. You Apparently get... these do, maybe. I don't know. We've had what the technology the... to like get across get to Europe in like two hours, but no one was willing to pay and they like you can't afford the fuel, no one wants to take yeah. it. That's dope. I've I've was I it think... like two hours to get there? Oh yeah. That's fucking awesome. I can't I believe, know. like... But, but isn't, when it isn't comes it to cost, like, ridiculous, But when it though? comes down to it, do you want to pay five grand to get there in yeah, two hours? Yeah, be fucking ridiculous, Or do, yeah. or do you want to pay $300 and get there in eight hours, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, most... I feel pr- like... 99% paying, of people wanted to pay the... Pe- a lot of people pay for first class to go, like, to Europe, though, you know? Yeah, but like it's not first class on the Concorde. It's no, I know, but it you you make up for it in a sh- quick flight. in a quick trip. Yeah, like I don't, I wouldn't want to pay for first class. A lot for of people a would, would honestly rather be first class for eight hours than like crammed in the Concorde Concord jet for two hours. Maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Um, my dad, my dad again got on a repositioning flight in like the eighties on a Concorde and said it was really fucking cool. He said it was a coolest plane he's ever been on because oh, they'd like so they'd like badass. reposition them and i forget what they call them like de- dead dead leg flights or something when they reposition a plane and you just you know you get a lift on it because you like work at the airport or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh he said it was he was the coolest plane he's ever been on in his life i really I wonder if it feels different going that fast I, dude i i wonder if the takeoff is like <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like thrown like, back in your seat. It's all the roller same, coaster. I'm sure they just boost it once they're up there. So cool. Dude. You yeah. probably barely notice. Who bought those? American Airlines. I've like I've followed the company. It's called Boom Supersonic or something. Do we like them? <laughs> Do we like well, them? Well, <laughs> I guess we, every airline is like known for being shit. You hear horror yeah, stories about exactly. all of them. Like, it's, yeah, it's, but it's, you like, hear ISPs. the most about United. I feel like. Um. <laughs> I've only ever flown JetBlue, and I loved it. I thought it was great. Honestly, yeah, that's you hear decent things about JetBlue. But I think that's the only one you hear decent I things about. I only had one other option for flights. It was either JetBlue or uh, that one airline that is like notorious for being hell. I can't remember what it was. Like the the budget airline where it's, it, the one the Southwest. No. Okay. Hey, it's Brian like, Air, but that's all European. No, it was like Frontier, or it was like Green. It had like a bear as their mascot. I don't know what a bear has to do with, with an airline, but uh, uh, every review was like one star, and it was like, do not fly on this airline. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, uh, jump who it is. Yeah, you're talking about uh, Frontier Airlines, is it which Frontier? has a bear. Yeah, it's called Frontier Airlines, yeah. and it's called... Low, what was their tagline? Low fares done right. That's their tagline. <laughs> the ticket was it would have been like a hundred bucks cheaper, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure if your bag weighs more than two pounds, they tack on an extra like fifty yeah. bucks. 
Yeah, a lot of those budget ones are like you. Yeah, if your bag weighs over whatever, can't bring a carry on. It's yeah. a it's a budget airline until you have to check a bag, <laughs> and yeah. then it's uh no longer a budget airline. Yeah. <laughs> it's a budget airline unless you want to breathe air. It, yeah. Will you be holding <laughs> your breath the entire flight, <laughs> or will you be paying the breath surcharge for each <laughs> each individual <laughs> breath? <laughs> You have to, I mean, if you want to stand the entire flight, you have to pay for your chair, though. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. That's for uh, cryo, cryo sleep. That's yeah. if you'd like us to knock you out and throw you in the baggage <laughs> hold down below. <laughs> Hope you Which won't be I, needing actually, to go to the bathroom because we don't have Now that I'm thinking one. about it, if you, if you got to an airport and they offered to, like, stick an IV in you and fucking knock you out and then you wake up at your destination, <sighs> sign me bad. up. I'd any be day. down. Well, yes. <laughs> assuming, assuming it's done, you know, where you don't have any side effects when you get up. Oh, you know it wouldn't be done like that. You yeah, know it's it's a, lot of a lot of people when they fly, they do that anyway to themselves. Just <laughs> 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 like a ton of sleep medicine or whatever. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to take these with the in-flight drinks, but I don't want to be conscious for this flight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like you show up to the airport and, a, and like a, a doctor at the gate like injects each person yeah. in the arm on their way in and then you just like pass out in the plane <laughs> and they just roll the bodies <laughs> yeah. into the bag. The baggage guys will throw your life <laughs> you body. Wake, you wake up and, and the, the stewardesses and the and the flight attendants are all buttoning their shirt like, yeah. like Seinfeld with, yeah, like with the dentist. <laughs> I, I imagine them unloading you on a conveyor belt like luggage. <laughs> like out of the yeah. Honestly, this is the future of flying. We're going to get those super speedy jets and they're just going to cram as many people in because they're going to knock them out and pile up, like stack them up. Yeah. And then you're good. You'll have to take a little pill before you get on the plane and then you, and then you stand in your pod. Yeah. And, then, and then you like, and then you just like, <laughs> no, you get like, it's like the roller coaster seats, the ones that you like hang in. Oh, the, 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 yeah, they just have those just like crammed in there. Oh, yeah. like, just, like, like little uh, meat hooks. Yeah. And everybody's it's like, a like and they like, Dude, everyone's they unconscious <laughs> in your little thing. <laughs> Because <laughs> you have your limp body. Dude, that would like... be amazing. <laughs> oh that God. much trust in a company, my God. Jesus, this I is great. Like that's the eventual evolution of like yeah. of corporate trust. It's like, like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Imagine oh. if that was the first step in like the the <laughs> happenings, <laughs> uh, the events of the Matrix. <laughs> Our in-flight entertainment will be a cerebral implant that will allow you to experience the life of another. Well, during your two-hour flight, you may live out an entire life existence within, within your mind. You may wake up disoriented in Cancun, wondering where your wife and children of 40 years are. Yeah. Which, again, uh, I might also be down for. That could be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> we'll see it's, uh, I still I mean, we spent a solid 35 minutes talking about planes but uh I like dude I, now, I can't believe that that's amazing now on to trains guys <laughs> what is your favorite <laughs> train <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, we'll wrap up with cars we'll wrap up with automobiles in the end I wish that train travel was better I, that, to be honest but I, um, train travel very much appeals to me yeah me too I honestly think that if, if we had a better train system, I think I would drive I would ride trains a lot. Yeah, you ever see those videos of those like Japanese trains? Yeah. Yeah, yeah those with things the little are sleepy sick. compartments. The little sleeper cars. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. I watched... When I was a kid, we took a train from Florida mm -hmm. back to New York. Whoa, that's a long one. It was a horrible, <laughs> horrible trip. I don't recommend it. It's it like was... two days, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was like it's a train. It's all, uh, dude. How is it? Uh, yeah, okay. Two days is a long time on it's, a train. It's gotta like stop, and it's gotta like right. pick up new people, let some people off at I think their. It was stop. like two, three days, two nights. If <laughs> I remember correctly, yeah. it was like Holy shit. It sucked. Everybody was smoking the whole time. This was before like yeah, cigarette Manny. laws. Nineteen ninety. Stunk huh? of smoke. The golden I remember age. being in like the the food car. I I was eating the worst fucking pancakes i ever had in my life i threw up like 
Yeah, it's probably the only train. ashes in the, in the pancakes. Oh, God, dude. Like, it was the so cook, bad. Like, like, and, like, in the little co- train car, like, the little wall, like, flips out, and it's like a prison mattress that you sleep. Oh, God, dude, it sucks. Never. Don't take a train. Dude, Don't do that's, it. That's what I'm saying, though. If train was better in the United it, States, yeah, it, yeah. it would be like so those, like, cool. bullet trains in Japan with, like, yeah. the whole bedroom with your own toilet and your yeah. own little, like, dinette yeah. area and this huge bed with like a, a massive like window that goes up and curves along the ceiling so you can watch the stars i I'd, I'd take trains i'd take a train over a plane any day yeah, yeah. Like remotely, yeah. yeah. the yeah. train route like yeah you have a window but there's along a train track there's nothing to look at there know? are some it's, scenic but it's a routes, train though. dude scenic routes yeah, yeah. it's it's in it's built into people to like trains i mean look at kids dude kids are obsessed yeah. with trains and I trucks trains and planes yeah. and <laughs> motor vehicles. I'm still, I'm still you seen us. You guys I was see a kid. Those, those I was memes. a kid when we did this. I loved trains. This was no fun. I'm telling you, it was. I, this was this was complete shit. I'm telling you, it was really bad. Uh, uh, and those memes where it's like a kid, a kid turns four and chooses his identity, and it's like a spaceship, a fire truck, or a train. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, or a little dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. His entire life on one of these. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe, uh, maybe we can go to San Diego on a train. It'll only yes! take. It'll only take four days. Four days of yeah. train travel. <laughs> we could be like those train YouTubers. That'd be pretty I haven't cool. recovered since the last time when I was like nine years old. <laughs> I, I, no, you took train it. before. After that, did you take one to Pax? Pax, and then you threw. No, up on I the way mean, back. an overnight train, oh, yeah. okay. like traveling a far distance. Yeah, yeah I've taken I, lots of trains. They're they're convenient to like go like a four hour like, you know. I you know I would um, I would take a train like two or three hours. Yeah, yeah. I it's not bad. We've got this uh. Tr- this like train up here in the winter that does like the polar express for kids right mm-hmm. and um my the north pole nice my wife is a teacher there's something where like she got invited or something and had to go do it and uh she invited me mm-hmm. and i love trains i've never been on one <laughs> and i was like that sounds fun i should do that but i ended up having to like stream or do something and i couldn't go but my buddy went and he was like, dude, I was throwing up the whole time. They do it on this old ass train without any like, because they want it to look like the Polar uh, Express. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, it doesn't have any like smoothing. It doesn't have any like anti like rotating you have technology. Died, yeah. And he was like, I, he is really good. He never gets motion sick. He was like, I was vomiting the whole time. I like could not <laughs> stop throwing up. And even Maybe Katie came home up. and was like, I was sick the whole time. I like, I was really on edge. So. I'm glad I didn't how go. Long, how long were they on it? Like two hours. Because they do like a whole show, like hot, 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 hot chocolate, like the fucking Fuller Express, right? All the kids are like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to see Santa. They, and then they throw up their hot chocolate everywhere. <laughs> the floor's all sticky because the yeah. train's going like this, and you've got like five-year-olds <laughs> with hot chocolate fucking dumping it everywhere. Yeah. Do you do you get motion motion on like a cruise or is it too oh, yeah. big to even like? No, I'm horrible with it. Uh, <laughs> but you still love cruises. Yeah, that was oh, my yeah. thing. I'd never been on like a proper boat on the ocean, like plenty of like lakes and rivers and shit. But never like until like I went to the beach, like you know, last month. Um, and Did you go on a boat. Yeah, yeah, went on a boat. Ooh. I love, I love the rocking. I love the waves. Like Tony was all like, "I'm gonna puke," and everyone's like, other people were like this is not good and i was like yes yes I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine on a boat but if i'm on it for a long time afterwards when you get off you feel like you're yeah. still yeah, yeah, floating rocking, like for the rest of the day you, you <laughs> that spend i don't love seven days on a cruise and when you step off it and then the boat is because it's just very slightly doing uh-huh. like the little yeah it just your brain just barely recognizes it and adjusts for it and then you get off and you're like 
go what the fuck is going yeah. on <laughs> yeah exactly like you kind of get used to it and then your brain kind of keeps doing it <laughs> like i'm a after. ship i'm a ship a man of the sea now i guess <laughs> <laughs> i'm like that I, way permanently after the earthquake i'm always feeling like i'm rocking maybe that's oh, that, why i was like yeah. okay with the boat that earthquake but, did uh, fuck you up didn't yeah, it yeah no it, it's still like that yeah. yeah just everything's always a little bit wobbly maybe you shift your like vestibulary <laughs> system what yeah. you should do decky is you should get rid of that apartment and just get a houseboat and you'll be perfect 100 percent of the time yeah. yep negate yep. houseboat <laughs> <laughs> then i am always rocking yeah <laughs> but no it's very much that same feeling i like uh, when I got off the boat, I was all like, "Oh, I'm I'm very familiar with this." <laughs> <laughs> How long was that air earthquake that like gave you that? I mean, it's in 2017, but I mean, it lasted like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of surprising that like it. No, and I'm like, I've been to doctors about it, and they're like, "That's weird. That that's very rare." But they they are also like, we primarily because like I, uh. I didn't process it because like I was kind of like, hmm, okay, this is all right. Like once I got outside, I was kind of like, well, I know I'm safe. All right, whatever. And like I didn't really understand the magnitude or anything else going on with it. And everybody else was like, you know, I mean, they lived here. They're more, more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. And I was just kind of like, huh. And then afterwards and I like going around and helping seeing the destruction stuff, it like retro hit me or something. And then yeah. my brain was all like, you're going to be, you're going to be dizzy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> once, the, once the adrenaline started wearing off and your brain was like, that was weird. Here's yeah. what life yeah. is like now. <laughs> yeah, they they like and he didn't the one guy I talked to about it, he was all like, I don't know, that's that is usually or he's like people usually are like that for a few days afterwards, but not not months and months afterwards. He's like, That'll probably stick with you. I don't know. But it's, and right. how it's were, not bad. And, and how were your balls during this earthquake? Were they shaved? <laughs> were they smooth? Yes. <laughs> yes, thanks to Manscaped. Well, if they weren't, they could have been, thanks to this episode's sponsor, <laughs> Manscaped. It smooth smooth sex <laughs> summer is slowly coming to an end, fellas. We're getting close. The leaves are, are turning out there, and it's kind of kind of frustrating me, honestly. If you haven't been scaping for the summer sun, it's not too late to sweep your sack of those pesky pubes. As summer comes to an end and we enter fall, keep your boys clean and fresh just in time for fresh ball fall. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming are here to make sure your pubes feel smoother than a beach ball and smell fresher than your girl's pumpkin spice. Start the new season the right way and join over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code GAMERHOLE at manscaped.com thank you so much manscaped we appreciate Yay. you notice my freshly shorn face mm, i shorn today with uh the lawnmower 4.0 me too even kicked, i absolutely did yeah it yeah. just works well what do you want from me it's i did two days ago <laughs> legit is the best shaver i've ever had and everybody says just use, use that on your pubes and your face yeah grow up i, I like yeah. how you how people shower after what how people picked like, on you about that but then pete davidson did his and that's exactly what he said was he was like i use it on my face too so sue me or something like that like that was <laughs> yeah. the ad that pete davidson did as well oh, he did yeah, yeah. P it, P worked. it was great on you anywhere People who complain about, oh, you, know, you use your ball trimmer on your face too. They're literally typing that comment with one hand while their other hand is on their balls, and yeah. they're just yeah. and they're yeah. sitting yeah. there. Like, and, then, and then you go and like pick your nose up, yeah. yeah. you know, and then, like, and then, and then, and then, like do this, and then they do this <laughs> later. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, good point. I like, should have brought that eyes. up. You know, one of the people who gave me such a hard time about that was Omid. I mean, he's like, dude, that's fucking nasty. I'm like. The, the how, thing is, like, how dirty are your balls? I mean, the blades are and it, like, as meant if you're to be not, washed. Like, touching them all the time anyway. You can just wash it before using your face. Like That's the great thing about it being like waterproof and resistant to all that kind of stuff. Just wash it. Well, me yeah. thinks everybody's got diseased balls, I guess. <laughs> that guy. Maybe his uh, balls are just very grotesque. <laughs> Maybe he needs... just thinks everybody's are like that. <laughs> Maybe he needs to participate in fresh ball fall for once. Yeah. Oh, but need. I, I saw my first like full leaf like change color like on the ground on my deck, and I was like, oh god, it started. Just, just I hate fine. that. I, I'm not. I don't oh, want I, it. I'm ready. I'm ready for fall. I, I mean, think it's nice. It, it's tourist season in my state, 
when that starts usually. So tourists, get ready. they're coming. Get, they're, they're here. Coming. They're coming. Oh, all that, all coming. that talk, all that talk about rocking and being dizzy and stuff. You're rocking I feel right now. Like that yeah. Now. God, I hate that. The the my brain is such a fucking troll that way. Like. <laughs> Sometimes it's like when you, things it's just like when you see someone uh, puke and you and your brain goes, yeah, it's like, I'm going to puke now. Your turn now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not that What way. would be annoying and inconvenient upon hearing about this thing? Hmm. Puke doesn't yeah, bother I'm, me. I'm like, I'm Funny moving was... and grooving right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm, God damn it. <laughs> that shit Funny is so annoying. puking your brains out on Friday night. And I'm just sitting there holding her hair. I'm all like. Yep. Put your fingers further back. <laughs> Gross. Uh, it, it like it doesn't it doesn't I, bother I, me at all. It, it, it doesn't bother me. me. Yeah. It's actually Understood. one of my biggest bothers. I'm mm. seeing someone puke. How does that not bother you guys? It doesn't. I was the one in college really that would help a lot of people that were like throwing up really bad because I didn't care. Everyone was like, "Oh, get away from me!" And I'd be like, "Okay, let me help you get to the bathroom." I don't. My care. entire life, the I smell have had makes me gag. An extreme but visual phobia. Doesn't bother me. Of vomit, of someone else's vomit, of someone even if someone else even says, "I'm feeling kind of sick. I think I might throw up. I might throw up just from them <laughs> saying that." Is how bad my like vomit induced anxiety is. I, I mean, I'll even put my fingers in your throat to help you vomit. Maybe I like vomiting. Mm. <laughs> I never thought of this. And you don't, you don't just like sit there and dread it for five hours before it happens. I hate vomiting. Me vomiting it. is the worst thing in the world. Like you get but all like you're cold totally and chill just being around. Yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't make me feel sick. I'm just kind of like, all right. Vomiting's not that bad for me. It's more of the dry heaving that I fucking hate. Because I have I, IBS sometimes. My stomach just like if I try to drink or eat anything, it'll just. Bleh. So you know, I used uh, to not mind vomiting. Dry like if the I worst. needed to, if I needed to puke, I'd just go do it. You know, and get mm. it over with. Well, yeah, I decided well, I don't want to do that ever again. Like, I should have puked. Like, we went out for our anniversary. I got, like, food poisoning or something. Something wasn't sitting well. Right. I woke up in the middle of the night with that feeling, you know, 4.30 a.m. Like, it's time to puke. Yeah. And I got, I hovered over the toilet. I was, like, I was right on the edge, you know? I, like, I could have, like, taken that plunge, and I probably should have the way I was feeling. And I was, like, I don't want to do this at all. Like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to puke. And I, and I just sat there miserably nauseous I will, until I, will, I fell back asleep. I will iron I will iron stomach for five hours, miserable, if I have to, if it means not vomiting for twenty seconds. Yeah. I will spend I will spend a day just just in just the agonizing thing is, pain. The thing <laughs> making you vomit like will come out, you know, sometimes and then you feel better after. I know. But- <laughs> But I, I refuse. Just, I just didn't do it. Yeah, I know. It was the first time I ever did that. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it this time. I'm not in the mood to puke. I just don't want to do it. My wife does. Anytime she's getting a little bit sick and she feels sick, she's like, I better go throw up and get this over with. And she just goes and does it. She's like, I'm going to throw up and goes, throws up. And she's like, I feel a lot better now. And now I can enjoy the rest of my day not feeling nauseous. If I get a little bit nauseous, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was that's what like I did. That. For, that's what like, I did. It was so... <laughs> I I used to I never was able to induce myself in vomiting until last year when I got COVID. I had some like weird side effect of COVID where I had the hiccups for like oh, I eighteen remember. hours. I remember and, that. Like, <laughs> I've never been so miserable in my life. Like I mean, having hiccups for like thirty minutes is a pain in the ass. It was like eighteen hours, and and I was drinking water upside down. I was doing everybody's, you know, of course, chat had everybody's a million ideas. Silly I was doing trick, a yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried every drink water upside down, all this other bullshit, holding my breath for as long as I could until I was try, about to pass out. You tried Tanya scaring you? Yeah, yeah, everything because I had it for like eighteen hours to try and fix this shit. Did you try a spoonful like, of peanut up. butter? Did you try that one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one um, always works for me. Did you uh, chug a beer? That one. And and every once in a while, like maybe drinking water upside down or something would help for like two minutes. Uh, I wouldn't hiccup, and then it would, and then I'd get one. But if somebody was all like throw up, and I was, and I never couldn't get myself to induce a vomit, and I was like fuck yeah, and I just like went to the bathroom, dude, and I like shoved my entire arm down my throat, and I just <laughs> vomited, and it got rid of it for like 
Ten uh, okay, that's oh, man. I that's... made myself vomit like eight times in a day. <laughs> I feel I'm incredibly sick now. Just, <laughs> oh, just talking about this, I, we I, God, we were like right at the feel point. Sick? I'm rocking back and forth. What's, <laughs> this is a very physically harming episode of the gamer hole. I that feel was like nauseous the best now, fix decade. I could get. <laughs> Uh, the second you said whole hand down throat was enough to trigger my <laughs> my fight or flight for nausea. And now it's like I have when you guys, to like battle it. <laughs> it's like when you guys talk about like heart attacks or stuff. I'm, that's me. I'm always like. <laughs> 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 it's like it's just troll brain. It's so annoying. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. You know what was really weird actually? The um. Two well. No, yeah, day before yesterday. I was super tired, like, after stream. I, I went, and we were watching Better Call Saul. Mm -hmm. And I remember at the beginning of an episode, I'm sitting there watching it. I'm like, damn, I'm tired. But, you know, I want to see what's going on with this show. It's heating up. It's getting with good. With Slippin' Jimmy, yeah. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, I don't, I didn't feel it, like, really coming on. And, like, I didn't really process what was happening, but I just... I just like fell asleep. Wow! I was sitting in a chair. You're and officially I, old. I don't remember falling asleep. You're getting old. Getting like old. it was like jumping ahead in time, right? And then I was like fell asleep like this, I guess. <laughs> and I woke up, and I was like, <gasps> and and when I woke up, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was. I was in my living room. I didn't know where I was. I I I looked at my wife. I didn't recognize her. And like old for man. like. 12 full seconds i stood up i was panicking like i had like serious amnesia i was oh like God. i knew i was like human but like i didn't know anything i had no memory it was so it's, fucking it's weird you were on a flight it was only two hours aqua but it felt like 30 years Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went on the, the, the doctor yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the brain, no, no, no. brain wipeout flight Honestly, it, like that it was insane it was like 15 <laughs> seconds i didn't know what was going on that is crazy and, for that extended yeah. period of time yeah and i remember i had posted something on instagram before i like i saw my phone i looked at my phone and it said like aqua fps and like i was like at first i was like wait what's that and i was like oh that's oh that's me and then like everything slowly like started to come back and like this happened to me once before when i was like 14 or something i fell asleep like on a, during an unexpected nap and like i woke up and my it was in my parents room i was like talking to them and i like passed out at the foot of their bed like a dog and i woke up and i didn't know who they were for like a while it, it was just like that the doctor strange meme where he like touches a butterfly and then falls through time it's like aqua <laughs> yeah. like sees aqua <laughs> fps and then like, takes a nap every me. day i wake up <laughs> he's like Oh, it's like all coming back. It was terrifying. It really was. I it was never so hell yeah, I've woken up disoriented all the time, kind of being like, oh wait, what? Where am I? What's going on? But never like I had full on amnesia. Like that is insane. For like a while. Like it, like everything came back pretty quick, but like long enough where it freaked me out. Yeah, yeah. I tell um, a story about how I time traveled as a child where I was at my grandparents' house and I was like laying on an air mattress. And it was like time to go to sleep. And I, I saw my cousin walking out of the hallway. And all of a sudden it was like, and then it was daytime. And like for me as a child, I was like, I just time travel. I, I remember running to my mom being like, what day is it? What? I, it was it was just nighttime. And she was like, yes, honey, it, it was just nighttime. And now it's morning. <laughs> <laughs> but I like, I think what happened is what Aqua just said is where like, I must have like been like slumped on the air mattress and then just like shut my eyes and then went and just slept and then woke up and was like, <sighs> and it's just like, I felt like it was like instant. And I, I yeah. swear to God, I, I don't travel. know. <laughs> it might have been because my, I like fell asleep with my head all weird like that. Maybe, maybe you like, like the blood got cut oh, off to my you, brain. Maybe you were like like cutting circulation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think might have happened. Like I slept like that for like 45 minutes and like my brain you was did completely like brain devoid of sleep. blood. Yeah. And himself. like when I woke up, all the blood went back into my brain. I remember who like, I was. Like right in your head and all the blood yeah. cut in. Oh my god. 
I remember I stood up and like I got really dizzy because like I got scared. I was like scared and adrenaline and I had no blood in my brain and I like stood up really fast. I was like, I was like about to pass out and didn't know who anyone was or who I was. And, and then eventually like I sat back down and everything kind of just came back. It was so weird though. Oh my God. It was terrifying. It really was horrifying. That's Speaking horrific. of falling asleep. I'm fine today. Speaking of falling asleep, I, uh, I, I, I tried to watch The Ring of Power the day it came out, and mm. I fell asleep within the first 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and I, haven't, I haven't watched it since. I haven't. Have you seen it, Aqua? No, not yet. I have. I'm finishing Saul first. Uh, I have. I've wow. seen both, both episodes. Right, It's only two out right now, I believe. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, but I don't have a lot of hope. Without spoilers or anything, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I I walked in very low expectation. I yeah. walked in looking thinking dumpster fire. And I watched it and I said, eh. Uh okay. Katie Katie's been watching it and I've caught glimpses and it just doesn't I look at it and it doesn't look like Lord of the Rings. It doesn't look as bleak and dire as like the Shire will be burnt and the armies of Mordor will slaughter Does children. It feel more like the Hobbit. No. Uh, well, here's my uh, without even, without spoilers. Without spoilers, each um, you didn't get a lot of the parts. Yeah, you only you only I got, got some. Gl- no, but, <laughs> but, no, 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 but but I'm saying that there is like transition into a darker, bleaker. That's style. fine, but yeah. I like Lord of the Rings when everything's dark and bleak. You get the Shire you get, wasn't dark. Yeah, the Shire, Shire wasn't Shire dark and bleak. Lovely. Fif- you get 15 minutes at the beginning of of the beauty of the Shire, and then it's. Hey, the world's pretty fucked out there. And then, <laughs> then they, they, but the characters feel so like gritty in Lord of the Rings and dirty and and I Ring of Power, everything looks so like just like clean and 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 like and really like fantasy. Whereas Lord of the Rings just felt like more I don't want to say real, but yeah. like it well, felt I mean, like I, I love Lord of the Rings so much that I'm gonna give it a chance. Yeah, right. and go into it. I'll low still give it a chance. I've just I haven't really loved the little snippets I've I've seen walking past the TV. Yeah, okay. if you My, watch it, I think you'll get a better idea, and I don't think it'll this be the same opinion. Like it definitely starts off like you're saying, but I think that the whole point of the show is to slowly go into the disarray and grittiness. I guess. Yeah. My thing be. was the it does feel different, or at least I only saw like thirty minutes. But it it feels like a fantasy movie, or 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 it feels like other fantasy movies, not Lord of the Rings fantasy movies. The way it's like directed, the yeah. anime, like I mean the the lighting, everything. Maybe it that's did, what it I don't had like. Had a different setting, and yeah, maybe that's it. And yeah. it almost made me feel like I was watching like uh you know like it felt more like Dungeons and Dragons or just a different version of like medieval fantasy, like different like fantasy ish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And and so that that part like I and I was like okay it's not horrible though and that was just something I did notice the overall theming in which I mean it's totally Peter Jackson's not behind it and it's, yeah and he should have been to be too. they didn't even like they didn't even hit him up for anything and he offered yeah but yeah gross. so like I wasn't surprised by that but I, I did notice that feeling was different but I, I'm not hating on it for it and I need to go back and watch it I don't know, I still have high hopes but for the 30 minutes I saw I wasn't like I hate this I was exactly. just like but you also weren't hmm. like, I'm going to stay conscious, so. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I was tired, I don't know. Eh, sometimes you're tired, sometimes you <laughs> fall asleep and have amnesia. Sometimes you're it's tired, like... sometimes you cut off the circulation to your brain for 45 minutes. <laughs> I am I more excited for, about watching House seconds, of Dragons tonight. House than of Dragons is, is, is really good. Yeah, I was Jason, my God, I was Jason Bourne for like 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> You get up and you just like kick your wife. And you like jump out a window <laughs> and then remember what I've done. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was Jason Bourne with no combat training. training of any combat. Wow! <laughs> just, a, just a gamer who couldn't remember who he was. <laughs> you like hit yourself with a nunchuck immediately. <laughs> Yeah, he's all like, do I know Kung Fu? And then he like, injures himself trying. <laughs> do I even know how to walk? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I'm excited about the Lord of the Rings. As someone who, in their free time, looks up lore, like the different types of hobbits and stuff like that, like YouTube and videos about it. How the Urukai are made. Yeah, how the yeah. Urukai are made, like stuff like that. I want to watch it just for the lore. How long, you know what I mean? How so. long has Gandalf been alive? Yeah. <laughs> long. He's old as hell. He's yeah. like a spiritual he's sage. He's like 800 and some years, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Longer. But dude, Aqua, I saw him all in movie theaters. It was life changing, dude. It oh, yeah. was life changing. Just like back when I was like be. like twelve or whenever they came out. It was like two thousand one to like two thousand three that they did. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It was. It was. You 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 need to you need to make that happen at some point. It was yeah, fantastic. I mean, okay, uh, Gandalf is twenty thousand years old. Just because I know there's somebody in the comments. <laughs> Someone's in the comments is going to be like, actually, he's twenty thousand years old. So just just want to throw. That but up no, there. that was such a cool experience. I felt like a kid again. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Seeing those in theaters, you know, not knowing what was going to happen and just being so fully satisfied and immersed and in love with those movies. What a God. Th seeing those movies originally in theaters, playing World of Warcraft, when Vanilla, when that came out, those are and like a few other little things just stand out as the finest moments of my life. <laughs> That was really good that stuff. Time, that time I got amnesia and jumped out a window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry I was interrupted there. Um, I hate all those stupid fucking YouTube comment bots that YouTube can't for some reason figure out they're a bot. Their name oh, I've is... I've seen a lot of those Telegram, now. you know, message me on Telegram, whatever. Scams. And there's one that was an Aqua one. Like, it's Aqua's picture. And <laughs> so I had to go fucking report a bunch of those okay anyways that's what i fucking hate those things are annoying me lately i've seen those going around so like also anyone who falls for is kind of like you shouldn't think that a. I mean you know. if you put out like it's like those phishing emails you know if you put out enough put and out enough, enough someone's them, gonna fall for it someone's gonna fall for it yeah and... eventually you put out a hundred thousand emails takes it takes seconds and then yeah. eventually someone falls for it that's all yeah. it takes a broken clock is right twice a day. Uh, you're going to play Wrath of the Lich King, though? Or are you already no. playing? I'm so proud of you. I'm so I, proud. I, it was hard to say no, but I, I'm saying no. No. I okay. kind of quit by Lich King. I mean, I played it, but I didn't like... I wasn't as into it by that point. Yep. So uh, The nostalgia factor isn't really there, so I'm just, I'm just going to let sleep. That's where I cold lie. turkey did it, yeah. Yeah. Me well. too. During during uh, that, and you then guys, I didn't play Cataclysm at all. You guys I came back and mop for a bit. I I right, didn't what? I didn't play until we played Classic, and I've still never touched my my main like my that my my character. My from Since? from Wrath, yeah. I've never logged into it again. Not even when I reactivated my account for like Classic, I was like, I will not. Yeah, my original character that started as an undead rogue became a blood elf rogue. Ugh. In like Mists of Pandaria for the racial oh, yeah, ability, yeah. the silence or whatever, because I got into a, the battlegrounds and arena and stuff, and I was like, "What's happened?" And and that's just been sitting like frozen in time since on a deactivated account. Okay, well, uh, I was curious. I'm I'm yeah. very proud of you. You guys do a good this. job. I'm, I'm going to probably okay. play though. Is the dragon? The dragon thing when that came, the new like retail one. <laughs> hey, it they did some class reworks and abilities. It might be hot. Arena might be oh hot, Decky. <laughs> I mean, that's what they say every. That's what a lot of people say every single time. There's a there's a, like a big what are they DLC or whatever update expansion expansion expansion. Whenever there's an expansion, there's always that glimmer of hope. And then a month later, I think most people yeah. are just done. I was All done right. 10 years ago. <laughs> I never played. I always try to, you know, and I'll play for yeah. like a day and then I'll be like, this shit sucks. Yeah. You keep reactivating your account. Oh, I have an, I have an active account right now. Josh keeps telling me to play. I've got a level three uh, cow and I just keep talking to people and say, you can't milk those. And that's what I keep telling them. And <laughs> they ignore I've me. I've got nipples. Can you milk me? Yeah. <laughs> I just say stuff like that. I make some cow jokes to a few people that are in the starting area. I think I'm level you three. You a lot of gold like that. Um, yeah. Taste of milk. A taste of milk. Five gold. Just five <laughs> gold. Okay, before we end this, 
I'm so mm-hmm. fucking mad. I'm so mad, guys. I'm so fucking mad. I got a real fast. bone to pick with clean. Fucking clean, clean over here, okay. dude. Why the fuck would clean. you go and play Mortal Online right now? Why would oh, you do I saw this? that. Yeah, I saw it's that. driving me up the wall. I, I can't go five minutes without somebody coming in chat. Dick, you're going to play Mortal Online again? It's coming back. Clean's playing. And then, then one peg's all like, yeah, I'm going to go play it too. And I'm like, no, no, you fuck that goddamn company. Fuck Henrik. Fuck yeah. goddamn Mortal Online. What's wrong with you people? We Don't were give there. Any attention. We were there in the shit, okay? <laughs> We were we there were. week one in the trenches, battling the servers, ba- fighting for our fucking lives in the queue. And now, oh, Mortal Online's so uh, cool. It's so fun. But there's still only like a thousand people online. You need like 5,000 people to have that world feel lived in. I checked yeah. the Steam charts and I think it was like 1,200 people. And I would, it's if, still if, Mortal, if Mortal Online could get to like 3,000, I would play it. Exactly. It needs yeah. it, the world so big. It needs to be lived exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah. It's so sad. That game was so close. It was it, really dude, close. It was, dream. It was, it was so, so close. Cl- it was so close. Even um, I don't even like MMOs or those type of games, and I was I was sucked in. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> like that kind of shit. Well, it's an MMO, but it's kind of like the the Rust style MMO. Yeah, it's where like, it is. like yeah, you it's live the in. full loot. Yeah, that yeah. really got me. Yeah, it's just been driving me insane seeing people like. I know. Be like, oh, it's coming. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. It can't. It's so fucked still. They they really <laughs> dropped the ball so early. Uh. Which sucks because I really liked it. And Dude, I no, I have so many great memories. I loved it, but yeah. uh, I just I, had to I rant for a minute. Being, I loved being Glue Glob yeah. so much. And Glug-lo- you had Glug-lo- the best clip and... in the entire world. That's like the number one creators club clip on the cl- clip. Yeah, it's got like, like two million, million views or two something. Million, like that. Yeah. Yeah. vanishing in front of you. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Glug scared. Glug scared. Glug scared. Yeah, that man. woman would rather dematerialize than talk to us. <laughs> yeah. She disintegrated in front of our eyes. That was a good one. Speaking of clips as well, I didn't know your number one clip on your Twitch channel was <laughs> us doing the piss ceremony, and it's primarily just Tanya. I yeah. haven't even told her. Somebody told me that yesterday. I need to tell her. I don't know why that has so many views. It must have gone on live stream fails. I know or why. Fails or something. Because yeah. because there's a girl <laughs> sitting yeah. at the well, but and then there's a cult drinking piss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Let me drink the piss. <laughs> I had no idea that was your number one clip. Somebody mentioned it yesterday, and I was uh, like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> yeah, live stream fails. I had some other really good clips before I had to go fucking delete them all because of the DMCA mm-hmm. shit. God yeah. damn it! I'm so mad about that. Every time I think about it, I get all bothered. <laughs> And God, set, all my memories of streaming are gone now. DMCA is still a huge Man. thing, but, um, you know, people ignore For what? it. what? Did I oh, have wait. to delete all my shit? It would have been fine. No, it wouldn't. I didn't delete it. You, you are the size that you would get hit and then not be able to come back, right? Like, if you're not the big boys, you're going to get hit with, like, weeks I or know. months. I, I had to do it, but damn it, I'm so mad at Twitch. <laughs> it just, it's, you know, Twitch, the way that they don't police... Across Actually, the board, more evenly. Mad at the music industry. Well, were, yeah. were, you, yeah. were you streaming when they did that, Zichum? Yeah. At the Z-Chum, big scare? Zichum streamed before. Since, yeah. 2019, beginning of 2019. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because that was what, 2020? Yeah. There's been several big scares, but I think 2020 was the big one, right? I've been live for, been one, for yeah. a year. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And it was like, oh my God, we're all going to lose our channels. Holy shit. I remember. And speaking of that, I think that um, Pokimane and Ninja are both done streaming. Well, Pokimane's not done. Nah, She's Ninja's, stream just being, Ninja's being a little baby. Yeah, I well, didn't. Well, what's or, funny, what's, the, the funny yeah, part was... Me. Pokimane put a statement out because she's been on a break and she said, I'm going to come back to streaming, but that's not going to be my focus. I'm only going to stream like two days a week when I have fun. That's great. Deal. Right? Yeah. Fine. Whatever. She's she's burnt Her out. Her argument done. was awesome. She was right, like, exactly. I don't think streaming aligns with the type of content that yes. I want to create anymore. I, so, I don't want to focus on that. She can work part time on streaming for fun, and then also she has other endeavors. Great. And then Ninja, same day, I think it was or the day after, like yeah. pulls up like some sort of weird, uh, like I'm done, like I'm taking a break, right? Which is okay, fine, take a break. But it just timing wise, and then also like, why does Twitch fucking lose partnership slash he changed his yeah. images? 
That, that, that was weird. Yeah. I, what happened? I he don't want. Did it, he did it because he's a little baby. I I went back and watched the stream that happened he, right what? before that. So did Literally, I, yeah. the day before all this shit, he tweeted big things in the works as if he had like some huge plans coming. I think and then it's it, a publicity stunt. And then it was like his Twitch account. Yeah. And so, and then he just, and you know what the big thing was? Another fucking day of streaming Fortnite. <laughs> that was the big thing in the work. And he just got on Fortnite and started streaming just normal ass Fortnite. But he kept getting killed by people. I guess there's like this rift thing in Fortnite and everyone was using the rifts. And every time he tried to fight, people would run away. And he just, he just kept getting more and more pissed. And it was like two hours of him just getting like, pissed off at Fortnite, and at the end he was just like you know what fuck this game fuck this game oh look there he goes rifting again you know what? i'm done i'm done i'm done and he just like he left discord from his friend he was like i gotta go do bye and just left discord and then he went chat I, I i'm done i'm done with this game i'm done and then he just ended his stream and then uh, he took it further maybe? and was like you know what guys i'm i don't know when i'm coming back i'm gone guys Literally because he got upset at Fortnite. It was like the most insane thing I've ever seen, actually. I'm sure that was like the icing on the cake. There's probably other stuff going on. Either that I or it is a publicity stunt. I can only assume something else has to be going on. Otherwise, he is just a big baby. <laughs> like Maybe his wife started wearing a bra. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I didn't know there was a big anymore. thing with Ninja. He made his icon like the default. Like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and, he, no and he like took the effort to change his his Twitter name to user not found or some shit. Oh, I saw a meme about that. I didn't know it was right. related to him. He changed like he had to make a, a an effort. Yeah, to he had change to do this. his Twitter name to to yeah, user why not, not just, found. Like, leave it alone. Dude, exactly. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something on Twitch rough going too. on, man. He, he no, lost there's gotta his be something rough going on. Yeah, why Wait, he lost what? his partnership on Twitch, and then it's like uh, un, like unnamed or something. His channel, it's there. But oh, holy shit! Yeah, I'm on his channel right no. now. I saw that his yeah, he has no picture. But how, how do you lose your partnership? And then ask for it. How do you lose your partnership by like well, no, changing you can, your name and picture mm -hmm. and shit? No no, 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 no. You can click cancel partnership on your agreement. You, you probably can, did that, and he might have clicked. <laughs> yeah, like it. what do you mean changing your name and picture? How does that matter? No, the, the the name he didn't change the name. It's still Ninja. Yeah, yeah it's still Ninja, but but, sure. but the the change the picture doesn't do it. But there is literally like a cancel partnership thing that you can go through, and I think he did it. Dude, uh, he could get it back in one if second. He did, yeah, if yeah. he did all this literally because people were using riffs in Fortnite yeah. for two hours, I there I'm I, like I'm crossing my fingers. You for gotta you, Ninja. have more empathy. Ninja, Who knows? I, maybe. Maybe he lost a loved one. Maybe something with his wife's not I'm saying. well. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not hoping something like that is happening. But I am, <laughs> I am hoping he, that this isn't all happening just or, because he was getting shit on in Fortnite. Listen, <laughs> or or he just got sick of it. You know, yeah. like people burn out. Yeah, there, there, maybe just snapped. Okay, there's okay. Been, so if been you get sick of, of it, problem, you burn out. Though. Why put so much effort? into making such a big fucking deal out of it why change your twitter name de-partner yourself yeah, you on just twitch disappear. yeah just stop going why live. not just stop <laughs> like, yeah, yeah disappear yeah. into the void like i always talk about yeah 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 <laughs> honestly that i might do that one day just stop <laughs> Just stop Say saying nothing. Stop tweeting. Stop disappears. i start making jokes that i killed him and then he just doesn't come back and everybody's like Gaslight your viewers into thinking Aqu you killed Aqua. But they're like, well, did he? <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, Ninja's ha there's always been wonders what's happening with Ninja because there's always like weird weight loss gain thing. So I don't know if anything's serious going on, but if there is, hopefully he gets better. If there is anything yeah, I hope crazy, he's okay. Hope he's I don't okay. even know about these. Yeah, this is. And if he is okay, if he is okay and he's just, just being a baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, right. If he's just being a baby, then whatever. Like it just shows he can be that a baby if he wants, you know. He like, up to there's him. nothing he's made wrong his money. with anything he's done. Right. Yeah. It's just eh, the flossing on New Year's was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh that 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 also, no. that tweet <laughs> that, that tweet, tweet wasn't yeah. great, but. 
it gave us something to laugh about. I yeah. saw the headline about Pokey, and honestly, man, Pokey just keeps keeps going and being the perfect queen of Twitch. Well, yeah, I mean, it'll be the queen. Yeah, I, I I have zero problem with yes, either of them being Amaranth, the, the our female perfect queen of Twitch. She, she's sure. the trailblazer. Yeah, she is the Lewis and Clark. She finds the Twitch, she finds the line, and, and breaks Pokey's it. The queen, and yeah, you no. know I respect both, and I and I I am happy with both of them leading that. Yeah, yeah. sure, I'm I'm fine hey, with did it. Did Amaranth down. quit? No, no, Amaranth is not quick. No, and, no Amaranth's going her. hard. She's taking extra viewers. She's doing whatever she can. She's streaming. <laughs> she's streaming. She, she, has not, she has not not been live yeah, in exactly. like weeks. Amaranth, she's like, so her is insane. Amaranth is building generational wealth right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, her, she, her, kid, her children's yeah. children's children will live off of the Amaranth family she, fund. She's she, so funny. You ever see those things? Or like, the, she has like slept on stream a few times. Mm -hmm. She like powers down. Like she's always live, just a, like a pool <sighs> hot tub robot. Yeah. Like when she sleeps, it's literally like this, <laughs> like on her back. Like <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> and when she when she wakes up, she's like like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yep. Activated. Hey, everybody! Welcome to. You know, it's crazy love it because, like, whether you agree with her content or not, like her grind her is grind not a real. Joke. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it is She's real, and that's what working, I. That's why yeah. I'm like, dude. Respect. Amaranth works fucking hard, okay? Yeah. I can't stream that much. And she's doing shit. She's not just sitting at her computer. She's like she's like dancing around, you know? Well, she's she, playing like she just dance. It. She's she's hopping in and out of a hot tub. She's writing shit on, on walls. Taking and thirty stuff. minutes to change a bikini, right. but she's she's optimized yeah. that shit to be like changing into a bikini. Then she goes out and like goes to the I local Starbucks, gets the drink, come back. You know, like <laughs> dude, she's working. She yeah. knows how to play it. And she's the thing. She's doing more work crazy. than I am. The thing that's crazy is now that Twitch All changed us. the rules, together, bro. she can now live stream on Instagram while live streaming on Twitch, and it's perfectly fine, and Twitch is great with it. But like Deki's seventh cam that we used to joke about can now be a thing. There's <laughs> nothing like wrong with that. Nice. You can now have a tier three, you know, do 18 oh, yeah, plus, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. like. I thought you meant Cam pointed at something. I was like, oh. well, that's what I mean. You could do that if you just do it on like TikTok on, yeah, and on a different platform. Yeah. yeah. Now with the rules. Pretty cool. Has she started also, going on the mobile platforms? I don't know. I think she she used to, I think, do promos while on stream, but she'd have to like walk off stream technically. And now yeah. she doesn't have to. She can just quickly, hey, how's it going, yeah, guys? I didn't know, I you know? Didn't... Don't know. I haven't also, done the research. I well, I thought. wasn't here. You guys might have talked cool. about that girl who had sex on stream and yeah. now we got like a week then. I don't think yeah. we did talk about it, but that was awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. how, a week band, How dude. amazing is it that she got only a week I know. And what then like, the people have wrong? been permanent. Like what happened to that Tarkov streamer that we used to watch? Like he's permanently banned for mm -hmm. nothing. Like... Insane, dude. That was. I, I saw that clip and I was like, dude, people fuck all the. I mean, people get their dick sucked. They do other shit probably all the time on stream. I was like, how did they banner for this? That was. And then like, I watched the clip and I was like, oh, it's literally just into reflection. Yeah, it's I thought, obvious. I, I thought it was gonna be a big deal because Twitch was all like. I watched the clip. I couldn't even see what was going on in the reflection. I couldn't oh, you see can. it. Yeah. Did you? And, and I mean, the, the guy, the guy shows his face behind her for a second. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he was like eating her ass, is what was I happening. Thought, yeah, I thought it was going to be a thing like Twitch oversteps their boundaries. It was clear she was doing it, but there was no real proof. Right. No, that's and I proof. thought Twitch was going to ban her, and then there's no, going to be it, a lot of backlash. And then I was like, oh, no. There's, there's like clearly there's a guy like <laughs> fingering and then eating her out like, <laughs> in the reflection. And then this, uh, I, whatever his fucking name is, uh, the guy who, who got super fucking drunk started his stream this was like yesterday or the day before yesterday oh is this the one with the bigfoot naked man yeah it's like the blurred image <laughs> yeah yeah his name's uh Pre prezo p-r-e-z-o-h oh, yeah. prezo i saw some of yeah. that on twitter he yeah he got super drunk on stream and then he forgot to end his stream like he ended his stream, but didn't he? But he was too drunk and didn't realize he like didn't end his stream. He didn't press I it. Follow him on Twitter. He got totally fucking naked and went to bed, just like <laughs> right on the camera, just fucking <laughs> totally nude with like his dick and balls Wait, did out. Get, did he get banned? Yeah, he got banned, dude. He got a, like a three day ban. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's not bad. He, he tweeted like, y'all saw my dick and balls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the story behind it. I just saw the one screenshot of him like oh, and run to his bed. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, that's amazing though. I'm glad he didn't get like permit or something. Yeah, I was gonna say, really he see my dick. <laughs> 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 oh, oh man God. yeah that he was leaves, that was he crazy leaves obs open you know who's taking that I, chance he was drunk oh i like I, I get it but yeah dude here i am worried about like if the the swastika on rust on painted on the <laughs> yeah. sign is like accurate, is too accurate of a swastika some little racist drew and i might get me banned permanently Meanwhile, you can show your dick and balls. <laughs> you can, you can have sex. Naked. You can purposefully have sex on stream and only get seven days. So right. <laughs> and you know what? I probably would get fucking banned too. Yeah. Twitch would be like, no, 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 no. That guy walked past a an upside down backwards swastika drawn by a five year old on Rust. Let's ban him for life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks, uh, thanks guys for coming today. Yeah, Appreciate we're leaving you with some parting thoughts there. You can think about that. <laughs> Food for thought. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> what can you get by? You know, what can you actually do on Twitch? Um, and uh, we'll we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you next bye. Thursday. Thank bye. you so much for being here, guys. Appreciate you. Goodbye. What's up, gamers? Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. We put a lot of work into these. If you liked it, consider becoming a member just by clicking the join button down below this video. Becoming a member will get you access to exclusive members only benefits like a monthly live stream, as well as an extra hour long episode every week on top of the main episode. Thank you again for watching, appreciate you, and as always, we will see you next week.